what's going on fam today let me tell you <laughs> it's been one of those days and ladies i know you know what i'm talking about i woke up this morning headache back hurting no cramps but i feel kind of nauseous my attitude is on 1000 <laughs> you know what i mean so i know that is pms <clears throat> i woke up pretty early this morning though I straightened up a little bit and I was really tired so I laid down around 10 and I just woke up y'all it's five o'clock so I woke up around 4 30 it's, it's five o'clock right now and I already know it's gonna be very difficult for me to go to sleep tonight so I'm gonna have to make a ticket melatonin so I can chill out and be able to wake up at 3 tomorrow morning so I can get up and go to the gym before I log in for work I had plans of <clears throat> journaling because that was one of my New Year's, New Year's resolutions. I wanted to continue or start, you know, journaling again, and I haven't done that yet this year. So I think today will be a perfect day to get all my thoughts because I have several right now um, down on paper. So I think this will be a really good reflection day for me. But really, that's basically it. That's all that happened today. And I'll see you in the morning, bright and early. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you something. The hardest part about getting up and going to the gym is actually getting up <laughs> out the bed. I hit that snooze button twice. But I was like, you know what? Let me just get up because if I just sit here, I'm going to just say forget it. So although it's 3.45 and I'm just now making it, making my way to the gym, you know, I did it. I got up and I'm going to try to do better tomorrow. <laughs> that's, the, that's the name of the game. Try to do better the next day. <sighs> I know you can't really see me that well right now, but I just wanted to check in. If you don't believe me, look at my clock. It is 3.45, y'all. 3.46. Okay. It just turned 3.46. All right, so today's focus is back. I don't think I have time to do anything else. I only have maybe 35, 45 minutes. And I'm doing low weights, high reps. So that's a little um, time, consuming, time consuming because I want to um, tone. So yeah, one body part today. Home and showered up, ready to start my day. I just logged in. It's still pretty early. It's still dark outside. It's 5.25 a.m. And I can honestly say that I would prefer to get up and go to the gym rather than get up and go to my garage. I feel like I'm more motivated when I'm at the gym because for some reason I have it in my head that I'm competing with all the other women in there. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but if I see another woman like... I'm working out really hard I feel like I gotta show her up and that actually helps me have a better workout versus you know if I'm in the garage and I'm just trying to push through and plus I like the interaction with the other people it's like although I'm really sec I seclude myself I, I mean I do I, I can admit that I work from home I don't really talk to anyone I do use I am or I'll be on FaceTime with Venus or something like that but for the most part, I don't really go anywhere when I leave. I mean, when I log off from work, I'm in the house or I'm at the grocery store. I go to the grocery store all the time, not because I want to interact with people, just because I'm always looking for something or always need something. But I digress. But yeah, it's nice to have that little bit of interaction, even though I'm a loner. You know what I mean? And it's like I walked in there because today was my first day back to that gym. I go to Planet Fitness. And I knew two of the people that were in there, but it is a Monday. Most people, most of the people that I, I used to know never came in on Mondays because, you know, football Sundays. But yeah, when I walked in there, I knew two people and we had like a little conversation and then I got my workout in. So yeah, I feel good. I'm up and alert. I took my pre-workout, so I'm still like buzzing. You know what I mean? And yeah, I just, I'm happy I went. I'm actually waiting for Venus to call me. 
because yesterday she texted me and she said that she was almost a victim a victim of somebody trying to steal her purse while she was at the gas station i guess they tried to open her car door she hasn't given me the full story of that but once i find out what happened to her i'll let you guys know as well but in the meantime i'm going to i'm going to get some work done and i'll talk to you guys a little bit later uh, all right so venus had internet problems this morning so i couldn't really facetime her but like i told you earlier she had an incident yesterday and i'm gonna need you to go ahead and let us know what happened because you know i'd be scared about stuff like this so i need to be in the know <laughs> so what happened what happened so yesterday sunday i get up and i'm going to church i leave home early because i know i need to get some gas uh -huh. So I get to Virginia Beach at Wawa's on Independence. As you know, where that Wawa's is. Yeah. And I pull into the gas. Wait, wait, you in Virginia Beach? Right, in Virginia Beach. Oh no. I pull <laughs> where you live at. Right. I pull into the gas uh, stall, and I go inside and I prepay for my gas, and I come out and I'm getting ready to start pumping my gas. Mm -hmm. Now, by nature, I'm just nosy, so I always look around. Especially if somebody pulls in beside me at the pump. Mm -hmm. But when I started pumping my gas, nobody was there. There was a guy two stars down that was pumping his gas. So, you know, I had looked and saw him. So I'm pumping my gas. And all of a sudden, this white little little white SUV pulls in. There's four young black dudes in the car, right? Yeah. I'm like, I mean, just naturally, I turned that way because a car pulled in. So I'm looking at them. They looking at me, right? <laughs> messing up again <laughs> it's been doing this all morning all right i'm gonna hang up it says it says poor connection so i'm about to hang up and we can reconvene in one moment okay venus system up and running for right now so so what were we you was we was at you oh it was some it's, it's 72 degrees yesterday so why are the windows open no, the window's oh, closed. Oh, uh, right. So, now mind you, okay, it, it's, it wasn't the fact that it was four little young black guys in the car, but you pull up into a um, gas stall, nobody gets out to start pumping gas, and y'all just looking around. That's suspicious to me. Yeah. So, of course, I'm just going to, I continue to stare at them. Normally, and I guess most people, <laughs> when you pump your gas, if ain't nobody there or somebody pull up, you'll, you'll glance at that person or that car and then look away at the gas pump. Mm -hmm. And I normally do. I'll be at, at the gas pump. Like I said, when I came out of the store, normally I would open my car door and throw my purse on the passenger side if ain't nobody in the car. Close the door and just pump my gas. For some reason, I put my purse in the driver's seat before any of that went down anyway. But... <laughs> Only one, and then sh for real, only one of my car doors should have been open, which was the driver's side, because I only hit the thing once. Yeah. But, I mean, they were suspicious, and so the guy that I was talking about when I first pu pulled in that was actually pumping his gas, he finished, and he left. So they still looking around, and then a um, AAA tow truck um, pulled in while I was on the side that we were on, and it came around, and I guess, you know, he was just parking out of the way, but it was a, a, a fairly large truck. Mm-hmm. So they were still looking around, and they you can hear them talking. I mean, my moving in the car or whatever. Nobody still ain't got out of the car to pump no gas. And I'm I'm still looking at them. <laughs> like, I never took my eyes off any of them. And then they were, you know, the, the, the guys in the front, they weren't really looking at me. So they was like, they was trying to hide their face. They had hoods up and everything. And seventy something green outside yesterday. Yeah. And so uh, then all of a sudden, the driver just immediately put the car in, in reverse and, and peeled out of the stall all the way back over to the side of the building actually in park i was so sure i couldn't even finish pumping my gas <laughs> so luckily you know i had prepaid with a car so i was like the, the pump just automatically just stopped out of nowhere i'm like okay is it done i know i should have been able to pump the whole 20 dollars i was like you know what whatever i put the thing back in got in my car and left and i was like that's crazy. I yeah. said, so I wonder what they, 
we're not gonna. Look, I said because if I would have been looking away, and my purse would have been in that passenger seat, I'm one of those boys would have probably got out that car, probably opened my passenger side, grabbed my purse, and peeled out of Wild Wild because that's the way they would turn. They would turn to actually be able to get out real quick. Yeah. I said that don't make no sense. Like I got some. Everything would have been in my purse. I would have been hot. My phone was in there. My dad on Kindle was in there. <laughs> to the Kindle. <laughs> Kindle was in there. You know, I would have been sick if they took that Kindle. <laughs> Which is crazy. Wild with all my cars. <laughs> that is scary. Like, I'm mad at you just looking at them. <laughs> yeah, look, I, was, I was looking at them. But then when they finally backed away, I mouthed to the boys. I mean, I was saying it, but of course they only see my mouth. I said, You ought to be ashamed of <laughs> Here. But you know, when I get out of my car, the only door that's unlocked is my door. I never unlock my passenger door or the back. And no, so they, they would have had to come get me. <laughs> they had to come around, and then we would have had a. It would have been a scene out there. I mean, and it wasn't like there was a hell of people in in Wabas. All these cars in the parking lot. I'm like, okay, you supposed to try that. With it, it's not dark time. It's, that's what we're doing in the daylight. Now. <laughs> yeah, well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, and this is it, Virginia Beach. Ain't that about something? Right. Let's go to show you. No matter where you at, better be aware of your surroundings at all times. Right. Well, now I'm really aware. Thank you, uh, Venus. I'm going to be hyper vigilant now. And you know how <laughs> scary I am. Like, Lord. Because <laughs> I'm like, I mean, my heart, my heart was beating off face and everything. <laughs> Lord. Mm. So. Y'all heard this story. Make sure that your your doors are locked when you are going to bump your uh, bump. When you're going to pump your gas, or maybe put your purse underneath your seat, or you know, yeah, on the driver's you, side. I, yeah, I wouldn't advise you to throw it in your passenger seat if that's what you're used to. And, I mean, that's normally just what I'm used to. If ain't nobody in the car with me, I just throw it in the passenger seat so I could just get in the car and go. Yeah. But nah, either put it on in the driver's seat, you're gonna put it in the car, or just hold it on. I don't even know. I don't know about holding on to you because somebody might try to jump you and grab and snatch it away from you. Well, they, I shouldn't even take a purse with me no more to keep a little wallet, keep it in the console or something. Like, y'all, it's crazy. But it's ridiculous. I'm like, maybe I should just take a car from now on and just have my ID. And yeah. Just stop at the store and that's it. Hmm, <sighs> always something. Badass little kids. What's wrong with y'all? Look, riding around in their mama SUV. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the case, too. Shoot. All right, just got off of work. Had to go ahead and walk the dogs. It's about to rain. And I am tired, y'all. At 3.30 in the morning, wake up call to go to the gym. Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. So you already know what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go home make something to eat, and then probably take it down extra early. I, I, I expect to be in the bed by 6, 6.30. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm gonna try to do it all over again tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Bye, you guys. <laughs>